Hello everyone and welcome to this eCognition Deconstructed video today and we're gonna have a look at the median filter algorithm. What is the median? I think that's first of all something we need to clarify. Uh, the median is the middle number in a sorted ascending or descending list of numbers. And in what scenarios would it make sense to use the median filter and what effect does it have if you apply it on an image? So first of all, it's widely used uh, as it has proved to be very effective at removing noise while preserving edges. So it preserves edges. Um, the mean filter, for example, doesn't preserve edges. So that's an um, advantage here. However, it is rounding the corners, right? So it doesn't preserve all edges. And I'm gonna show you an example in the cognition at the end of this video, which highlights this effect of the median filter on your input image. And yeah, removing outliers from data sets. So the outliers don't have such a big effect on the resulting filtered image when you use a median filter. So it's highly suited to remove outliers from your data set. And how does it work in theory, right? As input, you have an image layer, which simply consists of numbers. And then you define the filter size. In this case, it's three times three. Then it takes all numbers in this kernel, sorts them and takes the middle value. In this case, it would be 103, as you see at the bottom. And then this window moves across the whole image and creates a new image as output, as you see on the right hand side. And as you see here in the animation for the borders of the image, it simply takes the values that are available in the kernel and applies the median filter. And those are the median values for this kernel for each pixel. That's easy and pretty straightforward. All right, let's have a look at how it can look like in eCognition. Um, I prepared a data set and a rule set. You simply can also drag and drop those two into eCognition. Here we go. So one image, one layer. It's a radar image, Sentinel-1. And then we have a rule set here. And first of all, here in the rule set, what I do is apply a median filter. So if you want to use the median filter, simply uh, append or add a new process to the process tree and look for the algorithm median filter. What you can change here is the 2D kernel size, um, set it to any uh, odd number and class filter if you want to only apply a median filter on a certain class. That's also possible. And input layer is the layer that you wanna apply the median filter on. Only one layer is here supported. If you have a region, you can use a region and output layer, define a name for the temporary layer that is created. Output layer visible, yes. So this layer is or should pop up after execution of this process. So. Let's use the default settings here with a kernel size of three. That's also what I showed you in the previous example. Quickly gonna split the view here, display the median at the bottom. So the output of this process and side by side. And here in the upper pane, you see the radar image with uh, some noise, so called speckle and the filtered image is here at the bottom and yeah it looks filtered right we don't have that noise anymore but still let's look for some edges it preserves actually the edge nicely here however these peaks here that you see here um, they will be rounded off because of the nature of this filter. So if you increase the kernel size, for example, here to let's say, let's go for seven. Yeah, you see, we get this rounding of those corners here, this effect, but the edges are still preserved. So that's just something you need to be aware of when applying the median filter. And yeah, if you choose here, if you don't choose an odd number, it's gonna throw an error that you need an odd number. That makes sense. Let's go for five, execute. And yeah, that would be a filter of or kernel size of five applied on the input image. 
And yeah, I have a small section here uh, where I want to show you the effect on edges and corners. So I do a chessboard segmentation here. So I'm creating a dummy layer. That's the idea. So using this create temporary image layer and I'm quickly going to display it up here. So it simply consists of ones here and zeros here. And if you apply here a median filter, and I'm going for very large one, 49, um, input is the temporary and output is the median. And there you should see the effect on the corners and edges. And again, edges are preserved, but also the edges at the corners, actually they are rounded. So that's simply the nature of this filter. Let's have a look at this one. And I think you see it clearly here. And that's the filter size of 49. If you increase that, let's go for 99. It also gonna take longer, right? Because the filter size is uh, very large and it needs to do the sorting for 99 values instead of 49. So it simply takes longer, that makes sense. And yeah, the effect becomes more obvious if you increase the filter size in this case. Here we go, so more rounding of the corners and edges are nicely preserved, so that's nice to see. All right, that's already it. I showed you the median filter. Try to use it for pre-processing of your data sets before you apply segmentation, for example. Uh, to remove outliers, then your objects might become more meaningful if you apply the segmentation on a filtered image. Remove speckle, uh, round corners if you like. And yeah, enjoy using the algorithm. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.